Hey Capricorn, welcome to your late March reading. Not really date or time specific. I just say that so you know how to find it on the channel. Makes it a little easier for people. If you're new, welcome. Please consider joining us here. Subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you're returning, I appreciate you more than you know. Last week, we sort of focused on how we're growing. This week, we're focusing on Twin Flame Soulmates Empowered, how, the ways in which we empower ourselves as individuals and also empower our divine counterparts. So that's the topic of today's reading. Um, and also, it's the new moon in Aries. So I want to send a message to you that this new moon, being that Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, it kind of kicks off our brand new astrological year. Um, I sort of look at, at it as my my do-over, right? For whatever my New Year's resolutions were that I already failed and abandoned, this gives me a second chance. I hope you'll take it in that same energy and spirit. Um, the new moon in Aries, though, is about the self and our identif identity. This new moon happens to be conjunct, meaning right next to uh, the asteroid Chiron, which is known as the wounded healer. So FYI, you may get triggered in areas where you get personally wounded. So be on alert for that. Focus instead on setting your intentions for how you would like things to go for the next couple weeks before the full moon. Okay? All right. Enough said. That's why I'm using the Moonology deck. I'm pulling two cards here, Capricorn. One for you, one for your divine counterpart. We'll see what messages are coming through for you right now. This is for the collective of Capricorns, Sun and Rising. If the message doesn't speak to you, that's okay. Just check out the other video for your rising sign. See if that speaks to you or be a cross watcher. <laughs> it's a club. <laughs> Go watch the Sun or Rising video for your divine counterpart. Maybe there's a message there just for you. Okay. Divine Masculine, interesting. Divine Feminine, wow. The Masculine gets, look at the bigger picture. Full Moon in Sagittarius, bigger picture, right? Sagittarian energy is guided by Jupiter, the planet of expansion. I love this. So we're all going through a very difficult time right now. There's a global pandemic on for those of you who have been living under a rock. Look at the bigger picture of how things may change in an expansive way, positively. And the feminine gets the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. You both pulled full moon cards. I think that's interesting, Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. Maybe they will arrive here in this reading. I am pulling one more card for you, Capricorn. So if you're here as a cross watcher, this not, is not for you. <laughs> this is for the Capricorn, sun and rising signs only. Go watch your own video to get your card. Oh, I hope you get my humor. I'm trying to think, keep things positive and uplifted. I do tend to get a little slap happy sometimes. So, especially when I'm tired, which as I'm sure we all are, just the stress alone kind of wears us down. Okay, Capricorn. Nice energy. Acceptance. It's a four, car, a four, the number four. We're in a four year. So it feels almost like this is very much an in, in alignment for you with all the energies surrounding you for the year 2020. It is about acceptance, acceptance of self and the other. I do want to take a little peek at that for you. Card number four. Ah, See how it says, look at the bigger picture and the answers you need are, co are coming? This says, acceptance of the current situation is the first step to change. The past does not exist. The future hasn't happened. There is only right now. So it feels very pertinent to the time, Capricorn. I think you'll respect and admire the, the wisdom of spirit here. Woo! For those of you um, who are interested... I have not yet learned how to come live on YouTube. It's a process. I'm an old lady. It's going to take me a minute. But I have a Facebook group. In the first couple sentences of the description box, right next to or below the link to the extended, which there will be one, is a link to the Priestess Lounge. That is my private Facebook group. Every time I post a video, I got to up the numbers. We're now like 
over 75 members. I just started announcing it last week. So please join us there. I do live readings, live tarot, live oracle a couple times a week. We're all posting memes and messages to keep each other uplifted and supported. It is a twin flame soulmate com uh, community open to men and women. Please join us there. Please. If you're, if you're looking for positivity, you will find it there. If you have positivity to offer, we need you there. There. There, there. Okay, let's get this going here. Capricorn, we're looking at divine masculine energy. We have Leo energy of strength here, persevering to overcome a present challenge. Sure, look at the bigger picture here for the masculine. The feminine's kind of coming through here in stuck energy. There's a lack of clarity here um, for the feminine. In the connection, justice. Carta Libra. Some measure of fairness or balance may either be restored or is being restored or needs to be restored. I'll, I'll get more when I clarify it. Let me shuffle a little bit more. I want to look at how the Divine Masculine is empowering the Feminine. In what ways? This can be energetically. If you're in separation, obviously... It's energetic empowerment, right? And we send each other messages. Hmm. He's empowering the feminine to stand in their truth, to ask the questions that need to be asked and to offer the answers that need to be answered. To always come from love with an open heart of compassion, but to be clear, purposeful, with high vibration, intention, honesty, integrity, and character. Perfect. It's a queen. High vibration. The way they empower you. They see you as high vibration. Honest. Oh, and how you're empowering how you. How the feminine's empowering the masculine is queen of wands. High vibration, passion, creative energy, motivation. Suffering no fools here. Wow. It's okay if, if you're like coming in here watching this Capricorn and you're the masculine and you're like, wait a minute, why am I a queen? The only difference between the king and the queen in this case is the heart chakra, the open heart. Each queen is, is afforded extra cups energy. Each king is afforded extra swords energy. So this queen of swords, while she'll cut a bitch in her lower vibration, just going to call it as you see it, in her higher vibration, she's coming from her heart in an effort to get to the truth, to the heart of the matter. See? King of Swords, no. Not warm and fuzzy. Not very compassionate. High vibration, honor, integrity, character, living by a code, but very buttoned down. <laughs> okay? That's the difference. So stepping in here with this, how, how is the feminine empowering the masculine? The feminine's bringing even her own energy to empower the masculine to stand in their power and to go after what they want with passion and creative energy and fervor and inspiration. You guys, we have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have uh, fire, uh, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Leo here. We have Libra here. We have more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. We've got a lot of players on the board. In the extended, I will use this deck. I'm going to pull a, a card representing the blocks or challenges you may need to overcome in this connection. The strengths within the connection between the two of you that will help you overcome that block or challenge. And then actions or behaviors or intentions on the part of the masculine toward the feminine. Actions, behaviors, or intentions of the feminine toward the masculine. Outcome and timing. Yes, the extendeds give you a big... A, a much wider, broader view. These are readings for the collective. So when I get into the extended, I then go back and clarify all these cards even further. So pretty good bang for your buck. Just saying. Strength card here, this masculine stepping forward in the energy of courage, perseverance, not giving up. Wow. Persevering despite regrets of the past. Five of Cups. Something that... Wait a minute, let me pull another one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Five of Cups 
six of wands. The reason why I'm laughing is after I just got done telling you that you get a pretty good bang for your buck, I got a notification on my phone that I just, <laughs> I just got an order. My back, my, oh my gosh, Capricorn, ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, not the reading, just my antics. What I see here is a masculine that is interested in overcoming the obstacles, the mistakes, the, um, the regrets of the past. Either mistakes they made, mistakes you both made, um, or just regrets, a sense of loss, sadness, grief. Both of these cards, this Strength card and the Six of Wands are cards of overcoming. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It is also a card of coming back from the past, right? There's a return here. There's a reconciliation after some, some, some situation that went sideways. Look, right behind this person is the Two of Cups. That's the cups of the soul, cup, card of the soulmates. Oh my God. I almost want to stop this and start over, but the cards are too good. So it has been a day. It's been a day. I do feel this energy underneath the deck, the Ten of Swords. The reason why I'm pulling it is important for you to know. And the next one out is the Fool. These two cards go together very well. And when I look at this part of the reading, so I sort of feel they're coming through as like unconscious energy of this masculine this masculine is persevering, had courage to face and overcome a challenge, something that they regret from the past or they were a party to or some hurt or pain that they suffered, some grief, some sadness, some loss, could be their own mistake, could be the mistakes between you. They want to overcome it. This is a card of overcoming. It's also a card of reconciliation and being victorious, right? This is coming back from battle and telling the king, we lost no men, no blood was shed, our, our kingdoms made peace. It's that kind of an energy. And then underneath the deck is the Ten of Swords, the end of a painful cycle, over. Next card out would be the Ace. And then we have the full brand new day. So I really feel this is a is the energy Capricorn of a masculine, whether it's you or your divine counterpart, who is has their their mind set on overcoming mistakes and regrets of the past. Wants to be successful in reconciling. Wants to close the door on the pain of that past. A painful cycle is over. It's time to start fresh, brand new day. Taking a leap of faith in this connection really powerful to a sword for the feminine caught at a crossroads lacking some clarity per per chance oh wow mm -hmm. got the high priestess here and the ace of cups and the strength card and here's the two oh, you guys it's all here in the back bottom of the deck do you know what that tells me capricorn what that tells me or cross watcher whoever's here what that tells me is there's so much unconscious energy underneath the surface there's so much you're not even admitting to yourselves there's just stuff going on under the deck but it's your stuff it's how you really feel. It's your real intentions. And I kind of think it's really fascinating that it's all under the deck right now. The good stuff is under there. It needs to be brought to the surface. So that's why I'm turning them over. This is a feminine who's stuck. Doesn't see their way clear. This is stuck energy, but it's the energy of lacking clarity. Not knowing... Um, not, not being able to see things clearly with regard to this Ace of Pentacles. The reason, an Ace of Pentacles, you know, major offer. This is like something very stable, very tangible. It is huge. It's divinely gifted. It is abundance. It, it can be engagement. It can be moving in together. It can be, you know, because I'm looking at relationships. If I was looking at just general life, I could say, oh, you might get a big, huge raise or a massive promotion. I'm not looking at just life. I'm looking at this connection. So what I'm trying to say is there's, there's confusion here. There's lack of clarity with regard to what this feminine feels is like a divine gift 
of an abundant love, but they're, it, they're stuck in fear. They are stuck. They're stuck because they fear getting hurt. Underneath the deck, high priestess, really relying on their intuition, really going within. That's why I have this, this channel named Awakened Priestess. This is the energy. Taking in, hearing things, taking in all the information coming in around you, using it as data points to serve your highest good and the highest good of others. It's a very spiritual card. It's very much a connection to your higher self, to higher dimensions, to your spiritual team. So what I feel here is this feminine is really flying blind, going by the seat of their pants, but underneath has the wisdom and that powers of intuition and connection with higher self of the high priestess may not be communicating very much at all with this masculine. And it's all about this ace of cups, brand new opportunity at love. This, this feminine gets the divinity here. We have ace of pentacles, ace of cups gets the divinity, understands it, understand the, understands the gift that this is the sacredness and the divinity in this connection. And then matches this masculine's energy, mirrors the energy of strength and courage to overcome this fear of getting hurt. Because why? Because you guys are the two of cups. What did I just get done saying? <laughs> there, there's the two of cups behind this guy. Oh my gosh, the camera's backwards. So whenever I use QuickTime Player, it's backwards. Um, see what I'm saying? There's the two of cups that this masculine has his back turned on can't even see that it's there trying to overcome the loss of the three of cups between you right wanting to turn the page close the chapter on a painful cycle and the feminine's like it's right here i'm right here we can overcome this if we just pull together we can we can write this amazing love story we can have all the abundance we could possibly imagine in our wildest dreams but right now, I can't see my way clear to that. I'm too afraid of getting hurt. If I'm calling it right, feminine, let me know in the comments, please. If I'm calling it right. And it could be that there was a third party because in, in, in essence, what's happened here is this this masculine is, is staring at three cups turned over. It could be that there was a third party situation and then we have the three of swords. So for some of you, not all of you, I'm not suggesting something's going on behind anyone's back. If that's your storyline, you'll know it the minute I say it. For some of you, that was a factor. And that's why this feminine is like, oh my gosh, not only, not only is she blindfolded, she's got two swords up to protect her heart. Wanting to accept this gift of love and abundance. Just can't see their way clear at the moment. Fear is blocking the path. Riding on intuition. Hoping for a second chance at love. Wanting to persevere with the soulmate. And yeah, balance and fairness. In short supply right now around the globe. Nothing feels fair or balanced. Justice is card of Libra. Why is justice here for the connection, please? <laughs> yeah. Wanting fairness and balance with the past life soulmate. That's my, uh, another twin card, twin flame card. Someone here you're dealing with that you've dealt with before. Making the choice, looking out on the horizon at the two paths that lie before you in this connection, you have to choose a path. What will you choose? One more, please. High vibration, love, emotional availability of the Queen of Cups. This is the energy of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but just it, the Queen of Cups just represents compassion, open heart, holding space for the emotions of, of the other. It is so beautiful. Yes, working together. It's got to be a team effort between the two of you. Things can be, balance and fairness can be restored for these past life twin flame soulmates. You have to choose to do it though. You have to choose to take that path. And you have to do it together. 
but I see high vibration and love here. There's a lot of love in this connection. There's a lot of love here. Oh my gosh, I'm going so far over. Masculine. Empowering the Queen of Swords energy in the feminine. That wanted to come out. Seeds have been planted. Patiently awaiting for things to grow organically. Yeah. Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Seven of, Seven of Pentacles has your name on it here at Capricorn, if you're a Capricorn, because, you know, it's Earth energy. But it is about uh, putting in, you know, this, this gardener, is this farmer is toiling, you know. This has to put in the time and effort of, A, planting the seeds, making sure the soil is, you know, that has the right chemical composite, shielding the crop from the too hot sun, protecting it from high winds or cold temp. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a lot of thought, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of work, and it's a lot of patience. But it's a process that, as a Capricorn, is recognized as being organic. Capricorns get very, you know, they, they set their course. And then what, whatever it takes to get there is what it takes. So I kind of feel this is a, a tip of the hat to the Capricorn energy. And yeah, standing... Rising in your high vibration in Queen of Swords energy, a truth teller. She's not just a truth teller, she's a truth seeker. I say she because it's a queen. But always coming in peace with a heart open, with a hand extended. That is the way the masculine is empowering the feminine. The feminine is empowering the masculine to stay rooted in your heart chakra, but go for what you want. Make things happen. This car, these cards have been coming out a lot lately. Look at what we got here. Judgment, another, another twin flame card of reconciliation and reunion here. Right? This is a feminine saying, don't, don't fear, don't fear abandonment. Don't fear um, financial ruin we're these this card keeps coming out in almost all the readings that i've done in the past week so i'm no longer just saying that it's a fear of abandonment this is scarcity mindset and there's plenty of reason for us to be in that energy this feminine is saying you're creative you're smart you're a go-getter you will put in the hard work necessary and don't worry the light is on someone's home I feel this is a feminine saying, I, you have not been abandoned. You are not out there on your own, out left out in the cold. You're going to do what it, you need to focus on your work. You need to focus on your stability. You need to focus on what you need to focus on so that you do remain stable. But you have that magic touch. Look, she's got a little, oh, you can't see it in this card. Darn it. In most other decks, she's got a little black cat sitting at her feet. Magic touch. So I really feel that this feminine is supporting, energetically supporting this masculine to not fear any kind of instability. Put your head down, focus, do the work. You've got all the skills you need in this Queen of Wands. Do it. Do it now. And this is second chances. It's forgiveness. It's reconciliation and reunion. I feel like this feminine really is holding this masculine up and the masculine is holding the feminine up in the highest vibration possible. Wow, Capricorn, beautiful, beautiful reading. Uh, if this storyline is speaking to you, the link to the extended is below. You can click that. It'll take you right there. Otherwise, please stay safe. I'm holding you in health, safety, and protection always. And I'll see you on a future reading. Take care. Bye.